Good morning, guys. I'm passenger princess in my own vehicle today. Um, my brows are really crazy. I need to do them. Overwhelmed. I've had an overwhelming, just like mentally annoying morning for me. So I'm trying to just get through. And I realize I have a lot of things that I need to do and also return. I have become one of those people that's a chronic buyer and returner. I don't know, I'll buy stuff and then I'll change my mind. <laughs> Like, I've bought so much stuff in the last few weeks and returned it. Like, probably, like, almost $200 worth of sh**. And I'm very happy I returned everything, but it's just process. And then I have to come to the store to return it, and I'm just like, oh. Like, it's just, it's just a whole thing. I don't know. He was waiting for his change. We just came out of Target. Yes, typically the self-checkouts don't do cash, and David loves using cash, which drives me insane. If you can feel my pain, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Oh, it's because of the ground. Okay, well, my leg's wet now. Yay. Couple things. I definitely have to clean out this purse because it's already a wreck. Don't know where any of my stuff is. Oh, I have a clip in here Ha, ha, ha. I use sanitizer all the time at work, but when it comes to being out and about, I don't use sanitizer. I don't know. But two pairs of sunglasses in here, because these are the ones I've been wearing that are very Y2K vibes. And then here comes David. And then this pair I just bought that I really like, but it's not the weather. I don't know. I've just been having a time. We're going to have a good day. I got a lot of stuff to do. I to finish editing because I didn't do that yesterday. Did you get your 84 cents? Hi, guys. It is now the afternoon on a Saturday and I'm leaving the house. <laughs> and normally I don't do this, but I have just been noticing, I, I know it's my hormones too, but I just feel so irritated and annoyed with everything today. So I just was like, you know what? We're gonna get out of the house. We're gonna go do a couple things so hopefully you guys can hear me if not this vlog is a total waste right now but i think you're good i'm gonna go return return hello i'm gonna go drop off a package actually at the post office that has to go off for poshmark that i haven't dropped off yet because i have a bad habit of doing that i'm not even gonna lie so uh we're gonna slow down and not drive like a bat out of hell samantha and then i'm gonna be a brave girl and go to the mall by myself and return a powder to sephora because I don't like it. The main reason I just don't like it is because there's a filter in the top of it, you know? Like when you try to get powder out, there's like a cloth filter in it or something. And I can't like bake with it the way that I want to. So we're gonna just not do that. And I don't even need sunglasses right now, but I'm just annoyed. So I'm gonna wear my sunglasses, but. <sighs> And I also have a, believe it or not, a pair of yoga flare leggings because, okay, so long story short, I wanted the gray ones and they sold out of them in the store that I was at. They had some online, so I bought it in an extra large and I was like, oh, extra large, like, hello. That'll be fine, right? Like that should just be like, it will be a little big, but it fits me perfectly. So moral of the story, don't do that. <laughs> don't wear a smaller size. Cause I used to wear larges all the time because that's the biggest that Victoria's Secret used to be. And now they go up to like two X now, which is amazing. I'm gonna go to the post office, gonna go to the mall. Might stop and get Starbucks actually. <sighs> I just need to get out of the house. That's basically the reason why I'm just feeling like crap right now. It snowed last night too, so that's even better. And I keep like going really fast and I don't mean to, so. Once I get there, we'll stop this vlog and maybe I'll vlog when I'm in the mall so I can feel safe. But I've never gone to the mall by myself before, so this is a big adventure for all of us. If I could find the same yoga pants in the same size or like a bigger size, I'll buy them. But if not, then I don't know. I also have a 20 off 50, which that's a very bad motivator, but I'm thinking about it right now, low key. So we'll see what happens. Hi guys, so I'm back. Just got out of the mall. Basically, no. I literally went to return two things. So I guess I underestimated how crazy the mall can get because it's it's crazy. I thought it was like, oh, malls are dead, but apparently not. I exchanged the leggings and I got this oversized half zip. So uh, I'm very excited, I really like the color. After the return, I only paid three bucks. I went into Sephora, packed as hell, but I already made a Sephora order. So in my defense, I am obviously not going to be, oh my God, I can't. 
kit will my hair up returned the powder i bought the haas labs powder but like i said don't like it so i returned it gonna see if this bun will get me through because of weddings i did stop at starbucks and i got a pink drink and it looks a little fun oh and then i went to victoria's secret which i really do miss y2k victoria's secret they used to be so good and hopefully no one's coming because i'm back out. and it was so plain in there like i don't understand i almost bought the bling keychain thing because i have a, a louis vuitton one but i wanted to to get the other one and uh, oh no no oh no oh absolutely not <laughs> oh absolutely not but the victoria's secret one's bigger and it's blingy and it's pretty and i'm really into that but it just for me it uh, i like the old version it was like colored and rainbow which is fine i'm just not into the rainbow vibe here we go on another adventure guys we're leaving the mall i'm gonna go home But I did it. I have officially conquered the mall by myself and I'm very proud of myself because I didn't think I could do it, but I can because I'm a bad I'm a bad We're going to go home and maybe do some shit that I have to do. I haven't done yet because I've been kind of lazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not even that I've been lazy. I'm feeling like that irritation feeling and I knew like I just had to like fix that because my mental health is important to me so I got a spread car to go and then we're free oh my god I could have just pulled out really really fun fact about me I also have really bad road rage <laughs> trying to work on that that was my mall day I'm sorry to take you guys along for it it was kind of overwhelming so to be honest with you guys and I was thinking about like going in maybe Forever 21 and then like maybe going to, I saw a cute sweatshirt cotton on when I walked by. I was like, ooh, that is super cute. But I didn't think it was worth me going in there and buying it and waiting in a line for it. So if I really wanted it, I could always go online, but I'm trying to be good about this clothing thing. So I think we're good. I have been really good. I haven't just been buying a lot of clothes just for no reason. I feel like I've been doing really great with that. Because I don't want to be wasteful when it comes to things anymore. Especially clothes. Clothes is my worst habit. Because I always think in my head like I don't have something. When I really do, I have a lot of it. I don't know why. I think it's maybe it's like a... I don't want to say the word and like trigger people. But a uh, T-R-U-M-A response or something. You know, nothing is linear. I put that in my Instagram bio because it's true. Like, I'm still working on being a better person and I just want to go home now. <laughs> like, malls are honestly, like, they are fun, but it's so much fun when you're in high school or college. You have a group of friends and you're all like, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy this and we're going to get all this and it's going to be so fun. But just like, as an adult, it is just not the place for me. I am just an online shopping girly. Like, once in a while, maybe to like fulfill the nostalgia but besides that just a snow way malls can just go to hell for all i care and also an update for you pink girlies out there like me that love the originals collection the girl at my local store over here said that they apparently sent only a table's worth of clothing and nothing else and I, I even said to her i was like of course they finally give us the original stuff of what we wanted for years and years and then they just give us barely anything of it any of it at all whatsoever. You know why? Because it's trendy and it's Y2K and that's how pink was back in the day. I hope you guys enjoy my car vlogs <laughs> of me just talking while I'm driving. It's starting to rain a little bit, so we'll put the wipers on. Okay, we don't move on that much. I want to put together my cube storage. I was supposed to edit this afternoon, which I'm still going to do. I'm finish editing my vlog that I'm like slacking with everything. And then I want to put together my cube storage, but I think that might not happen until tomorrow. Which is totally okay, you know, life. Oh, and speaking of car updates now, David's obviously looking into getting a new car. He had an Equinox before, he wants another Equinox. And I know some in the comments is probably gonna be like, Equinox, they're terrible, which I've, I've heard both sides that they're great and they're terrible. Um, allegedly, apparently, Chevy's airbag system is not, not that great because when he got into the accident, and slammed into the side of him, the airbags never went off. So, that's fun. 
And apparently that's like a faulty thing with Chevys, apparently. And what am I driving right now, you guys? A Chevy. <laughs> so we're just gonna, you know, just pray that nothing like that happens. I never want that to happen. I'm a very safe driver. I don't care. I will. I can drive like a like a bat out of hell, but I can also drive very carefully at the same time, which I know probably makes no sense. We're just gonna fucking hit this up, whatever. I could have went through it. I could have did it. As far as like a driving update, it's almost. It's been I think six months that I've had my license. Over six months now, eight months, and. Again, like I said, back in the summer, I wish I had done this years ago, but I was not in the right headspace and mindset to do that years ago. And I never now like I'm trying to not dwell on things and, you know, oh my God. And then it starts raining. So like, are we, what are we doing here? I recently have started, actually since this weekend, started watching my Super Sweet 16 reruns on Paramount+. Plus. They have all the seasons except season three, which I'm just like, why? Some of the best episodes were in season three, so I'm a little offended, but whatever. Some of these girls, I literally can. I think the most infamous one, again, gone viral on TikTok. No, everyone was like, oh my gosh, she's such a brat. She's terrible. Audrey girl, and I'm watching her episode right now. I, like, back in the day, like, it was acceptable, and, like, I'm sure MTV had, like, a play in it, because we know reality TV is not completely reality, obviously. Oh my god damn, like, this girl really thought, like, she was doing something, and she was not and then all of her little meltdowns and her oh my god i didn't get my car my party and having like a full mental breakdown and totally embarrassing herself and being the most ungrateful piece of shit i've ever seen in my life even just having her like court girls because she's having a keen say this is her 15th birthday so we'll go back to the car thing in a second this is her 15th birthday she's having keen say so i guess you have to have a court i don't know i don't understand that i'm not with the culture i have no idea i've just noticed that that's a common thing i guess for quinceaneras whatever literally she had all her court girls try their dresses on she's like oh you guys have like back fat you guys need to fix this whatever like what the f like back in the day we were just like oh this is fine like there was a couple episodes where someone was saying one of the r words and i'm not talking about the r-a-p-e-d word i'm talking about like the the other word that you refer to special needs kids if you feel my vibe and that just like slipped right through i'm like oh 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 definitely this generation gen z if you go and watch if any of you gen zers watch my videos and go and watch my super sweet 16 you'll be like oh my god huh like i don't know how like this new generations are going to handle this if they eventually watch this because they're going to be like oh my god it's so bad even she's like everyone's expecting me to get this car for my 15th and if i don't get it so we're gonna have problems or whatever she says and i'm just like first of all you're turning 15 second of all she says my mom I know that I'm only turning 15, but I'm getting, I'm buying a car or I'm getting a car to practice in until I get my license. What? Like th this is like the, the shit that I would watch when I was a kid. I was like 12, 13, 14 years old. And I was like, oh, and I like idolized like this, like when M this was on MTV, I would watch the shit out of this and Girls Next Door and a whole bunch. Mostly this Audrey girl. Hopefully she's grown now a lot better than the 14 year old version of herself man uh -uh. good morning my hair is in a clip again because i can't be bothered with it it's driving me crazy as we know i don't like to talk about my mental health online because there's a lot of evil people and i don't f with that so f you um yeah i've just not been the best and i don't know if i all of my enemies and people that i cut off that are probably going to be watching this because that's what happens but like, hey, 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 hey. karma that's all i have to say is karma not for me for you <laughs> for wishing downfall on people that's karma um you'll get it back i'm at work it's tuesday i have an in-service day tomorrow with no kids and i have to sit through presentations all day and i really don't want to do that i have days where like i'm just not mentally okay and i need to just pull out of this parking lot and go back home and i feel like today is one of those days because i've missed a lot of days this year for being sick and
so i don't want to keep doing that needless to say i'll tell you one thing though once the summer school starts i'm leaving the house at 7 30 and i'm gonna get here for eight and i don't care because school because uh work doesn't start till 8 30 in the summer which is nice today is just not the day for me to be here and it has nothing to do with work it's just like me mentally like i just i need to just lay and be look at the bunny He's the cutest one. Yes, he is. He's the best bunny in the whole seat. Hi, guys. We're continuing this vlog. I've had a day. Um, in service was as annoying as it can be. The last time I had in service days before this job was my really awful daycare job. And then we're going to label it that because it was awful. You're probably wondering, Sam, why is your old daycare job so awful? Or like the one that you... Wow. Let me re really, let me go back. Let me go back. Why are you calling that daycare job so awful? I'm not talking about the job I just left because for the most part, I had a really good time there and left on good terms. But the one before that, that I just abruptly quit, terrible, awful. I would give it negative a billion if I could. Yeah, we had an in-service day, fun fact. And we were a daycare, a daycare. But it was classified as a school, but it was a daycare. We were supposed to be doing like curriculum with them. And I'm just like, these are one and two year olds that are just learning how to eat on their own and share. No, get, get potty trained <laughs> and you want them to learn curriculum. That was another time. We're not going to get into it. I bought a whole bunch of just like the rest of the world. I'm coughing, so I'm trying not to because my Stanley Cup is holding up my phone right now. But I ordered a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of Rare Beauty from Sephora because obviously I'm supporting my girl Selena. I've seen some TikToks. I've seen some tweets of some like drama channels and people being like, Selena Gomez is the She didn't tell everyone to stop the other girls. Here's my, here's my, pro my thoughts on this. Why would you tell people? She said to just be kind to people. Thanked everyone for their support. I think whoever made that tweet is just like read the room completely wrong. <laughs> it's International Women's Day of the day and I'm filming this. So happy Women's Day. We do not support mean girls. We do not support this. Anyway, I bought a whole bunch of Selena stuff. I've actually been wanting to for a while since the pandemic, but I just, I never did. And to be honest, a lot of it has to do with, no, no, it doesn't really have to do, yeah, I guess it kind of does, I don't know. I just have it because I'm, I'm not a Sephora girly, I'm an Ulta girly, so Selena, you need to get your sh in Ulta because I would be so happy. A couple things I have that are not from Rare Beauty, I got this for free with my order. This is the Danica Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in Universal, which I've actually been wanting to try this. I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. I have oily weird skin, so if you have oily skin and this is terrible, let me know. <laughs> Maybe this was like free with my order, so I'm fine with that. I did buy the Patrick Star One Size Beauty Attention Seeker Blush Trio. We all know what it looks like. We all know what it looks like. I bought that trio when it was back in stock. I also got this Too Faced Cloud Crush Blush in Candy Clouds. Cause something about this, these blushes is like taking over the internet. I don't know. But it's giving old school Too Faced vibes when I was really obsessed. Oh my God, so pretty. Like just look at the compact. I know we are not just buying makeup for the packaging anymore we're not doing that i really like her i like the compact i think it's very cute so we'll see how it works on my skin okay on to the rare beauty stuff positive light silky touch highlighter and exhilarate and i did just open this and and close it you are rare i love that i love that packaging is cute really cute Ooh, ooh, she's pretty okay i'm totally here for it because obviously we're like i said not supporting mean girls okay sam we're not even gonna go there i've been feeling real petty and real just oh lately so we're not gonna do that okay got the liquid touch weightless foundation and brightening concealer i got the foundation in 210n and i got the concealer in 110n so I hope that these work out for me because I feel like foundations are very like hit or miss. It's like nice light packaging though. But I really love that. I think she said in a video one time, she made a lot of these products so they were easy for her to hold. Because since she has lupus, sometimes it's hard for her to hold on to makeup or do her makeup and all that. So love that. Poop. <laughs> the little poop. This will have to be like sparingly used. I 100 count down on a concealer. I'm excited for that. Then I got the, the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick and Happy Soul. You guys know I've been really into cream contouring and stuff lately. So, so we'll see how she works. I'm not like a huge fan of the NYX one. I've been using the e.l.f. concealer. I use the Maybelline concealer to contour and it's pretty decent. I think it's still 
holding up well on my face. I just don't get the whole concept of you do cream contour and then put powder on, like put bronzer on it. I just don't get that, but maybe that's just me. Lastly, I got a whole bunch of lip stuff. We have a couple liquid lipsticks, lip souffle cream. Yes, I got one in Courage and Fearless for a few reasons because I feel like, yes, I don't have the light, whatever. I feel like these are very similar to my Kylie color and I really love these kind of colors. Oh, ooh, she's dark. Oh man, she's real. She smells really good, but she's real dark. So we're gonna have to see about you. And I would have went to the store, but you guys already know how I feel about that. If you watch earlier in the vlog when I went to the mall by myself for the first time ever, especially on a Saturday, not a fan, not a fan. Never happening again, probably. This one's Courage, which I feel like is lighter. So we got a couple of those, and then I got three lip liners because <clears throat> why not we have fun what is this one called lovely and worthy excited for all of these because you are loved you are love you are loved you are lovely you are fun and you are worthy Ooh. so i'm definitely obviously going to try a, a, try out a lot of these products i will hopefully see you guys later david and i are going to go out to chili's tonight tried some southwestern egg rolls that i never had them before like a month ago on Valentine's Day. And now I'm like, I want them. I want them really bad. I want them now. Especially for the day that I had, I want them now. Maybe we'll get some chips too. Because I, I want them now. Actually, might get them. No. Yes, no. Yes, no. No, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.